Welcome back to ESA Winter 2021. We're raising money for Alzheimer's Fund and links to donate can be found below the stream. We'd also like to thank Kochi Tecmo Europe, Naiho2, the Complete Edition, Twitch and Fusonic for sponsoring this event. Now it's time for Babsia running Deltarune. Take it away. Thank you very much. So yeah, um, I will be running Deltarune blindfolded any percent new game plus today. And um, it's a very cool run. I I think many of you will enjoy watching this. And um, I have my two commentators here, Enhar and Evandar, if you want to introduce yourselves. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm Evandar. <laughs> <So, yeah. laughs> um, yes, and uh, I'm really happy to commentate this run. It's going to be really impressive, I think. Yeah, I'm Enhar. Uh, I'm excited to see how this is going to go, too. So, yeah. Um... I will mute myself for this run, um, as for blindfolded runs usually. I will have a second pair of headphones so I cannot hear the commentators or the donation reader. Um, they will guide you through the run um, from start to finish. And I guess we shouldn't wait too long and just start. So I will leave it to you guys. I will mute myself now. Um, I will do a little countdown with my fingers if it's okay. And then um, we can start. Great. So, yeah, I would start in... God, this is too complicated with too many headphones. <laughs> uh, okay, I will mute myself first. In 10 seconds we start. Or, or you, ca you guys can count down for like 10 seconds, it's okay. <laughs> okay, will you hear us? Uh, yes, if you start at 10, then yes. <laughs> okay. Tell me when I can start? Yes, you can start, you can start. Okay. 10, 9, 11, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, start. Okay. So, a quick things we can say about uh, this run before it starts, uh, before it really starts, is that uh, BBJ is going to use sticky keys. Uh, the sticky keys uh, actually act like as if uh, BBJ was holding shift and control during the whole time. So it will help him uh, during the whole run. Yeah. Later on, we're going to get a light and, and we're also we have to run through the whole run. So we have to have those uh, those keys pressed. Uh, in this here, Bubzia has to carefully name himself. Uh, he must make sure that he doesn't uh, lose track of where he is. Uh, and now this is the beginning here. You just go through all the options. It doesn't really matter what you pick. And now we're going to go through the through this cutscene here, and then we're going to go through, uh, through bad skip, which is when you're going to go back to the bad. And this is the difference between New Game Plus and regular non-New Game Plus. When you've played the game at least once, uh, you can skip a whole sequence at the beginning, which is just a big cutscene, basically. And you can skip going to school by going back into bed, just like in real life. Yeah, so here's coming up, yeah, <laughs> just like real life, you sleep through your responsibilities. So here you come in the dark world, uh, there's an interesting mechanic here. So for, first, uh, this is the wrist protector, which is going to mesh the text. But Bubsy is also going to be meshing because the wrist protector is not 100% effective, so you ha have to mesh a little bit. And this part of the game has steps, so it's going to be very helpful for Bubsy to know where he is in the run. But that's not going to be true for all the game. Exactly. Here is a lot of precise movements, and uh, we don't know if we hit walls, we don't know uh, if we are going into an another room, so Bubja is just listening to his steps and he's counting them, so he knows exactly where he is. Yeah, you just get a little bit of audio every now and again, but for the most part you have no idea where you are. So okay. now solving the puzzle very neatly. Most of the puzzles in this game are not randomly generated, so this is really helpful. Yeah, so Bubsy just kind of have to focus on the inputs, and some of them are going to be are, are pretty hard to do blindfolded <laughs> specifically. But Bubsy is pretty good at this game, so I I think he's going to nail it. And here is the first uh, interesting part for the blindfolded run. So we're going to see quickly. Um, a bullet hell part. So when you don't have a blindfold, this is actually really easy to dodge. But this is completely random, so Bobsia does not know 
uh, if he where are the projectiles. So he's just going to tank through everything. He's just holding uh, right and hoping he won't get hit too much. Yeah, this part here is actually pretty difficult to die because of how hard it is to get hit that many times. But later on, we're going to have another segment which is going to be a little bit more intense. So that's... More risky. that's uh, yeah. So coming up now is going to be the Lancer fight. And also some nice music, very good bangers. <laughs> <laughs> so Bubsy is going to be taking a lot of uh, safety saves right there. Just like that one. When you save in this game, it actually completely heals all of your characters. So because the Bubsy is going to tank through a lot of damage, this is going to be really helpful. Yes. So this is the first fight of the game. Uh, usually we want to, in any person, we want to hit a critical hit three times in a row. But with a blind fort, this is actually really hard to do. So Bubsy is just going to try to hit Lancer and to give him damage, not maximum damage, but this will be enough to finish the fight in four turns. These attacks are uh, a part of... there is a part of randomness in these attacks, so... Uh, Babzia is just trying to move in such a way that he will avoid most of the random attacks. And again, uh, he will be able to heal after the fight, so it's not a big deal if he takes damage. Yeah, this this fight is definitely... I don't think this one's an uh, easy one to die. Yeah. So now we're going we're gonna to be going out of the Dark World. Uh, and from now on, uh, most of the strats that Bubsy is going to be doing are going to be based not on the steps, because uh, the steps are no longer going to be... Uh, Audible, but instead, uh, Bubsy is just gonna have to pay attention to the beats of the music. And the music in this game is, uh, it, it has some pretty nice rhythm, so uh, it's gonna, it's definitely gonna help, but it's still really hard to have to keep everything on track in your head. So, this is Fields, we're gonna uh, feel the hope and dreams. We're gonna have a very nice song coming up now. <laughs> the best song in the game, of course. And here uh, we begin with the encounter skips. So these skips, uh, you try to uh, skip these enemies and you just do that by dodging them. Some of these are very easy if you can look at the game, but if you cannot look at the game, you just have to do these crazy strats. Like this one is pretty interesting. Oh, okay. okay. So that was very, very, sh very close to n not missing it, but missing it, it's not going to lose that much time. It's important to know that this skip is also kind of hard, um, when even if when when you can look at the game actually. Yeah, definitely. This one's definitely not super easy. So here, Bubs is gonna get the cake. This is a safety strat for the king fight. And here's, and here's another the third one. Yeah, this one oh. is not too hard, but Bubs just did it pretty well. Yeah. And these puzzles here, they're pretty interesting. Uh, and Bubsy clearing this one very well as well. You are on the timer when you clean those puzzles actually, so uh, even if you need to to have a precise setup, so you don't have to lose time there. Yeah. So this fight here is scripted, you always have to do it, and the menu is pretty simple. And and you, Bubsy actually getting hit on purpose here, it saves about 3 seconds. And these enemies are not too difficult to dodge since they don't actually try to attack you. There are some fights like this that are completely scripted and part of the story, so there is absolutely no way to avoid them, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, this part here, uh, Bubsy is going to clear through this. We have about, uh, I think, about 30 seconds if you want to say something. Uh... Of course, uh, we have a couple donations coming in. We have $100 from Wayland9 saying, Better late than never. Lots of runs to catch up on, I see. And yes, you did and indeed have a lot of runs to catch up. We also have two anonymous donators donating $45 and $20. Thank you so much for that. And another $25 donation from Aika with no comment. Thank you guys for all of those generous donations. And they're all going towards the uh, incentive of bonus game, the Wacky World of Miniature Golf Cutscene Percent by Big John later on in the marathon. All right, so this puzzle here is actually pretty difficult. Um, so Bobby is going to be doing his threats to get through this. And this one is just pretty difficult. You just have to really... Oh, and he gets it. 
Not too many tries, that's pretty good. This is impressive. Again, you are yeah. on a timer, and it's really hard to to keep track of your movements uh, without losing then, time. Then puzzle, you have to keep track of all the three players so they're in the right spot, so it is definitely very tricky. Here is another scripted fight. Uh, we got a really quick one before, um, where Bubsa just had to attack once. But this one is going to be a bit longer. Uh, this is not a really hard one, but in order to finish it in two rounds, he has to give enough damage to the first enemy. So he will try to hit... Nice, oh, this that's, is really nice. that's good. Yeah, that's good. So, even if you don't do crits, uh, if you are close to hitting a crit hit, uh, it gives more damage to the enemy. Yeah, we actually in the non blind for the speed run, we try to we don't try to do full damage there to save some time. So there is definitely some lenience there. And this here in this box puzzle, uh, it's the first time we're gonna actually have a, a sound cue to know exactly where we are. And so that's gonna definitely help for this one. And coming up next is uh, the hardest skip on fields. So that's. That skip's pretty difficult, even again, even for non blind photo uh, runners. Some people struggle a lot with it. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I was okay, scared yeah. he was going to, look, to lose track of where he was. Oh. oh! So Bubsy was a little bit too far on the right there, but that's that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yes, he wanted actually to, to make the enemy. Uh, hit the wall, but he was a bit too far, and the enemy was able to, to touch him before hitting the wall. Yeah. So... Okay, it's uh, one thing with this. Oh yeah. One thing with these menus is that if a player dies, Bubsy is not going to be able to know which player died, so that's going to make menuing very tricky, especially in the king fight where probably one of these uh, mem uh, team members are going to die eventually. So now we're coming out on the checkerboards. Something uh, important to know... Uh, yeah? Go on. No, no, you can go on. Okay, uh, in the fields we had uh, some music, so as, Naros, as Nihara said, uh, it had a very precise beat that was easy to follow. But here in checkerboards, the beat is not there anymore, so Bubsia is actually going to count as if the beat was still there. So this is really, really hard to do, and he has to be really focused on this. Uh, he could not really skip this fight because it required a uh, really, really precise movement. So he actually triggered the fight in a place that he, like, he moved in so, such a way that he knew exactly where the fight was. So what you just saw there, that's some very, some rather precise uh, puzzle, timing puzzle, and Bubsy and nailing it pretty well. If you get caught on the white styles, you, you go back to the beginning. So it's definitely good that Bubsia didn't get caught on that one. And there's gonna be another one coming later, but that one's a little... It's... it's, it's it requires less movement, but there's still a precise timing at the end. And yeah, this one right here. So here you just hold right at the end, but you have to make sure you go down at the right time. And again, Bubsia nailing the time. And again, we have this... an enemy room where... Uh... It requires, again, pre really precise movement to skip all those enemies. So Bubsia is just going through and waiting for them to to touch him at the exact place he knows. Yeah, with the proper uh, menuing, you can finish these fights rather quickly, so it's not a huge loss. And Bubsia getting the menuing pretty well. Nice. And now we're moving to the checkerboards uh, for the, the K round fight. And I guess this is the minibus. Yes. So what we want is... Okay, I'm not going to spoil what is going to happen. We have this little cute piece of... Uh... I don't know what the game is called. But uh, when it reaches the end of the checkerboard, it receives this crown and it evolves into a bigger piece. Yeah, it's And a piece we of want checkers. to get this crown off his head. So Bubs is going to be manuing down here and... These attacks here, you can actually manipulate them very well, so they're not completely random. And that's what Bubsy just did right there. But some of these are a little bit more random, but it's you can still manipulate them very well. You might get caught up like that, you just because the, the bullets are pretty well spread, but you can manipulate them, so they're not completely random. 
The fight lasts around five turns, if I'm right, and we want to to make this uh, this enemy bow, so his crown starts to fall down, and after like yeah, yeah and the, after this and turn, the now the crown is fell down and the piece is back to to being an innocent little enemy. Yeah, and this is gonna be the K round fight, uh, and now we're gonna move on to the forest maze, uh, the forest. And it has some interesting skips. Uh, I believe Webbis is going to be deactivating Sticky Key sometimes because some of these skips are uh, end up being a little easier if you're not running. Uh, especially the, the ones in the bush right here. And there's some also pretty precise skips like the blocks of skip that we're going to be seeing. So this skip is one of them. You kind of just go like that. If you're running on that, you're going to get caught. So Webbis is going to make sure he's not running there. Here we have some more cutscenes again, and we will have uh, another skip, just like the one you just saw. So by walking against the wall, Babzia is uh, moving really slow, so he can really easily avoid this enemy. Yeah, so in this I, uh, in this room here, you just have to go through these. Uh, they have a cycle, but Babzia has the cycle in a way that he doesn't get hit a lot. And going through this puzzle here, it, it does have a little bit of a sound cue, but you can be very easily tricked in here. But that's not going to be the case here, for Bubsio. You can you can uh, also notice that sometimes uh, when Bubsio is in a cutscene or just uh, when he's talking with other characters, he's trying to find a way to know when he ends this cutscene. For example, here he tried to push the button that was in front of him, so that. You could actually show him that the cutscene ended. And here we see another puzzle that is, again, not RNG. Yeah, and this is going to be the clover fight. Uh, you're just going to use the manual twice, and this allows you to finish the fight in two turns. These attacks are rather RNG, but Bubsy uh, dodging very well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and now coming up the blocks skip, uh, which is a pretty hard skip, but Bubsy is going to have a setup for it that's going to allow him to do it. Also, he's going to get the, the cake fixed. Uh, you get the cake earlier, but you have to fix the cake for it to be usable in battles. And that's going to be very useful later on. Yes, so the upcoming skip is actually extremely hard. Not, not extremely, but really hard when you're playing even without a blindfold. And what's really impressive about this is that Bubsy gets it really, really, really consistently. Yeah. Bubsy just goes and do it, just like that. And in this maze right here, uh, I actually can't hear the game. I don't know if he's uh, clicking, uh, pressing Z on the ballerinas, but you could see where you are doing that. Yes. Uh, I don't think that he's using it, but uh, the damage he takes uh, yeah, is enough for also... him to, to know where he is, I think. Yeah, yeah, that, that would make sense. And here, you're just going to go through this. You don't want to get stuck in this menuing, but it is not too hard to do that. He did not do the duck. Yeah, no duck, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another room here. Uh, Bubsy is actually going to be able to dodge this uh, here because this room is always going to be the same thing every time. And here's another puzzle. Uh, Bubsy is going to be hitting this tree that you cannot see. And there's actually an audio cue, uh, audio cue for that one, so it's going to be helpful. Another safety save. And now Bubsy is going to enter the maze. So this maze uh, could actually be random, but hopefully he's, it's absolutely not. So in the game, what we want to do is always pick the path that uh, Lancer does not pick. And yeah, again, so uh, yes. As long as the as long as the Bubsy doesn't go out of the path, he uh, should be good to go. But it, if he goes, if he were to go out of the path, that would be a pretty bad. And here, here's an encounter skip. Uh, it has a not so precise timing, but it's definitely hard to do it when you cannot see it very well. Yes, it's it's really hard to do it faster, actually, to do it quickly. And Bubsy has a very precise setup again that lets him do it really easily, I think. Yeah, and just as fast as you know a regular runner would do. Now we're coming on to this fight. This fight has some RNG on the attacks. 
And it's a rather long fight, so hopefully nothing is going to go too bad on it. What we want to do here is to uh, complement Lancer four times, and but we also want uh, Suzy to be asleep when we complement Lancer for the fourth time. So Bubsy dodged those axes perfectly. That attack does have RNG, but Bubsy, you know, just dodging that anyways. <laughs> okay, this is pretty scary because Ralsei is low HP. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. Managed to dodge that one. So that's pretty good. If, if, if either of them dies, uh, that's going to be a big problem because you cannot progress the fight unless you attack. But Perfect. going through it, no problem. And I believe Bubsy will be taking a safety save here as well. Um, we have uh, quite a bit of downtime now, so if you have anything to read, that, that's the time for it. Of course, we have $5 donated from Flato saying, I never get tired of seeing blindfolded runs, and neither do we. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that. And another $10 from Fel Felira, sorry for mispronouncing that probably, very hard name to read. Um, both of these are going towards the Super Mario incentive, where uh, Big John will be running a bonus game later on in the marathon, right after his um, Super Mario All-Stars run, the wacky world of miniature golf. We only need about, uh, let me check real quick, 450 more dollars to meet that incentive. So if you want to see more of ESA, got to make sure to put your donations towards that bonus run. Thank you. Now, uh, we are in the middle of more of a cutscene part of the game, so it's mostly just uh, characters talking together and Bubsy are holding right. <laughs> yeah, in this part you actually just need to hold right. Uh, you know, there are times where even I don't look at this part <laughs> when I'm playing. But now it's coming up to the uh, very RNG heavy part. And hopefully everything is going to go uh, right. Again, this is completely RNG, so Bubsy cannot know where everything is on the screen. Uh, so it, there could be a death, but hopefully that's not going to happen. Okay, so here, uh, the maximum amount of damage he could take is 7 hits. And we are already at 3 hits for now. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty... We're getting pretty... I think we're... Yeah, this looks... No, this looks dangerous now. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, oh, no. okay. Oh, okay, yeah. That's <laughs> One hit away, but, you know, just, just right. And now we're gonna move this, on to the freezing segment. This was the most scary part of the run, I think, because uh, there was there is absolutely no way to control this and to know where the spikes are going to come from. Yeah, that's, that was pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> so here you just talk with everything three times, and then you want to go back to Ralsei to progress. And there's gonna come up another puzzle here. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky to know when exactly the puzzle begins, but after you start it, it should, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I think that Bubsia stops smashing a bit before the puzzle, so he makes sure he's not selecting an option by accident. Yeah. Also here, there are a lot of choosers in this game, so you got to make sure you're pressing a, an arrow key to progress it, or else you could get stuck in the text without knowing what's going on. But Bubsy are not running into the, that problem. And here is going to come up on the sensor. Um, on, I, did I just say sensor? <laughs> the Lancer, <laughs> Lancer fight with Susie. Uh, these attacks are also a little RNG, but they're they're just like the other ones you saw on the other Lancer fights. So they shouldn't be. Uh, I think it's actually not even possible to die if you have full HP into this fight. So it shouldn't be a problem. Probably yes. And after two rounds, after three rounds, Lenta stops targeting, targeting us. If you played Undertale, you might recognize this this thing. It actually looks really much like a tutorial fight at the beginning of Undertale. At some point, yeah. Lancer doesn't want to attack us anymore, so all of his attacks are just going to actually dodge us instead of us dodging them. Yeah, so it's going to be the last attack and then Lancer is just going to give up. So that's usually <laughs> the time that, that runners use to to rest their their wrist because of the mashing thing. Yeah. And we have... Uh, I, <laughs> we, yeah. we got some donations really, really lately, but uh, if there are any more, we can have some time as well here. Yeah, I have time um, for sure one. 
no more right now, but I want to remind everyone that we're raising money for Alzheimer's Fonden, which is a Swedish national fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's diseases and other dementia-related diseases. So thank you so much for donating for that great cause. So as you can see now, all of Lancer's attacks are just dodging the heart. And yes, now we're going to approach the hardest part of the game, which is the castle. Uh, in the castle, there are going to be pretty hard skips and pretty hard struts, but I'm not going to spoil anything. You will see by yourself. Yeah, the castle has a, a tricky mechanic is that uh, usually when you transition in a room, you, you can just hold a, a arrow key and you're going to go through the room. But in here, you have these stair rooms where if you go up, you transition in the next room. If you go up, you go back. So if you just keep pressing up on those, you're going to see what I mean by, with that. But is it basically, basically they're like infinity stairs. So if you don't know where you are and you just press up, you're going to get stuck and you're not going to be able to know which room you are. So Bubs is going to have to make sure that he's timing uh, the movement precisely enough so that he stops exactly when he transitions and changes the direction. And also here is going to come up, uh, I believe it's going to be the, the final uh, encounter skip that Bubsy is going to be attempting. Yes, and be... this is called the Regin Ranger skip. Uh, there are many ways to do this skip when you don't have a blindfold, but when you do have a blindfold, uh, you don't have much choice because it's really hard to do. So Bubsia is going to save again to make sure nothing goes wrong. And then he's going to, to lure this enemy so he can go in this room. And now the, the enemy forgot about him, so he can just go past him and oh! Oh, that, that was very close, but unfortunately he didn't go far enough to the left. So missing that skip. Okay, but so yeah, this fight is not pr really easy to to do because uh, the attacks are really hard to dodge with blindfold. I'm not sure what strat he's using as a backup. I believe he's just attacking everything. Oh, he's he's gonna pass by the first one. Okay. Wait, but it, that didn't go. I think he didn't have enough TP for that one. So I hope he understands what's going on. Okay, I think he's just, yeah, he's just yeah, okay. attacking everyone as a backup because things went a bit wrong. Let's hope he doesn't take too much damage here. Yeah, so okay. these attacks are a little RNG, but you can manip them just like the other ones if you just move. Okay, so the fight's over now. Uh, he's going to save, I think, for more. Yeah, I think uh, he's going to go back help. to save, hopefully. Oh, he's a little bit underneath the save point. Yeah, I wonder if he got lost. Okay, he okay. found a safe point, so he should should know where he is right now. Okay, so here you're going to see one of those stair stairways, uh, staircases. Yeah. So this is the first example of it. Uh, Bubs is going to set up himself there so he can go there. And again, he has to stop uh, walking as soon as he enters the room. And you have no sound cue for that, so you just have to time yourself on the music. And... This puzzle here is a very difficult puzzle, <laughs> except it's yes, not. Yes, one of the hardest. And you have the sound cue there, uh, which <laughs> helps to know where you are. But again, it is just too difficult of a puzzle. And now he, I believe he's going to get the, the item here, which is going to be uh, uh, it, this is a sandwich. It might help in the battle, but it might just be more for positioning itself um, as well. I think that is, yes, it's going to be useful for the king fight. Yeah. And here is this, this skip. It's pretty difficult to do, so Bob's just gonna run into it. It's a really, really precise skip when you don't have a blindfold, and with a blindfold, it's absolutely impossible to do it. So he's yeah. just running into the enemies as soon as he can. But hopefully, uh, there's a, a little glitch in this fight that Chris is always targeted for some reason, and if Chris dies, uh, things can go a little uh, not so good, but nobody's going dead any, uh, yet. So you're good to go. Nice. Chris was really low HP, but uh he managed yeah. to finish the fight pretty quickly, so it's fine. Yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty good fight. Okay, Bubsia is again positioning himself in a specific corner. So, so he can yeah. do this, the stairs uh, without doing any mistakes. 
And now progressing to the second version of this puzzle, this time even harder, even more impossible, but you know, <laughs> that does, doesn't matter for Bubs yet. <laughs> even with a blindfold, he can solve all the harder puzzles. Legendary. All right. So now coming up, uh, Bubsy is going to get into the shop, which is actually going to give a, a bit of a clue where of also going to get a safety save. So he's going to have a, a bit of a clue of where he is right now. Uh, and here he's going to be buying a bunch of items for safety on the king fight. Uh, so he's going to be uh, buying uh, armor and food if he ever needs to do, to use that. And again, more and manuing because he needs to equip his characters with all of <laughs> the yeah, things so he bought. He's gonna be menuing without looking at anything. That's it's pretty interesting how it goes. Now coming up on the oh. on the Charon fight, uh, you may recognize this from Earth Bay. I think that Bubs just stopped a bit too early, uh, walking upwards. Oh, okay. Okay. I wonder if he knows where he is. Okay. So as we said, uh, if you go, if you continue going up in those uh, staircases you will continue entering uh, the transitions again and again. And this is exactly what's happening right now. Yeah, it looks like he knows that he's getting caught on it, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's holding up a little bit too long, so he's going in the transition again every time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, but after he gets out of this part here, you're gonna see a little bit of a rematch with uh, the K-Round character. Oh, coming back again. And the K-Round character, it has a pretty interesting mechanic on this one. And it's actually pretty, it's pretty interesting to see how the blindfold run does it. Okay, oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Alright, so this is gonna be the K-Round fight rematch again, just like I said. And here... Uh, Bubsy cannot see what's going on, so he's just gonna have to rely on the timing once again. And here he's gonna press the, these keys on a very specific timing so that he can hit the crown. And this is a part that, you know, even players without blindfold can struggle sometimes with the timing, but you know, Bubsy is getting it pretty consistently. And, and we again, have you can... the exact same attacks as in the yeah. first fight. Okay, so Bubsy wants to get this. Uh, Wants to hit the uh, the crown of Ralsei three times, and looks like he's gonna be able to do this. Maybe. Perfect. All right, All right. pretty good fight. Yes, sometimes even if you see the trajectory hitting the crown, uh, it might go wrong, and the game might consider that uh, you did not hit the crown, and it gives you more rounds to do. Yeah. So it's gonna be the last. Here. Uh, it's gonna be the last save in the run, and now we're gonna get into the king fight. This fight is uh, going to be really hard because uh, the king has a lot of different attacks. Uh, some of them are RNG, but uh, he usually gives a lot of damage to the characters. And again, Bubziak cannot know who is targeted by the attacks. He cannot know who is getting down, if someone is getting down. Uh, so he's just going to survive uh, for 15 rounds, and after 15 rounds, if nobody, if, if he didn't lose, the king is going to get tired and go to sleep. Yeah, uh, Bubsy is also going to be using the healing uh, items uh, for backup, and there's also a little bit of a, a spell you can do in this game, which is the the, the Ralsei double heal. So he's going to be talking right now with Ralsei to set up this spell. And basically what it does is if Chris and Rossi are alive, he can heal everybody in the party. So as long as nobody's dead, he can be confident in using that. But after that, after anybody goes down, uh, that's going to be a little trickier because he's not going to know who's down, so it's going to be harder to menu. And he, he definitely doesn't want to get stuck in the menuing. For so this book attacks... Yes, these box attacks here are the worst because yeah. there's absolutely no way to know in which direction the box is going uh, at the beginning. So Bobzia is just not even trying to dodge this. He's just trying in to... In this attack, uh, Bobzia can dodge it exactly because it's always the same. So that's what he's doing right here. Pretty good. You can also see that Bobzia is defending uh, whenever he's not doing anything with the characters. That's just going to uh, reduce a little bit of the damage, which is always good. And Chris, okay, Chris is going down. So that's going to be... That's That might be a little bad, but... Um, as long as I believe Bobzia... Okay, Bobzia is going to be defending through it. 
as soon as someone dies, as we said, uh, it's not possible to use items or to heal because uh, there is absolutely no way to know who died. So Bubsy just doesn't know uh, who's menuing he's doing. Okay, and so Bubsy is a healing item, him. I believe, with Susie, but then Chris died again, so that's pretty unfortunate. So we're about we're about like six attacks remaining to the end, and ooh, it's a little scary. Yes, yeah, Susie got down as well. Okay, he's gonna use the cake, so everybody's back at full HP. That's pretty good. Yeah, so this is why we got the cake earlier. It's gonna be very helpful to make this fight a, more, a lot more consistent. So now Bubsy knows that, that every three of his characters are alive. And he still has to count the damage he's taking in order to know who is down and who is not down. Yeah, so the fight is gonna be coming to an end very soon here. And it looks like Bubsy is gonna be able to do it with no problem, so that's, that was a pretty good king fight overall, I, I'd say. So I believe this is the last attack. Oh yes, this is the box again, so Bubsy just cannot dodge these attacks, but because Chris was full health, uh, he got no problem dodging everything. No, I was I was wrong, that was not the last attack. <laughs> again, this one here, Bubsy knows exactly how to dodge it, so he's actually able to dodge it. Right, I believe this is the, the last attack, right? Yes, yeah, okay. this was the last attack. This is really impressive, as of, because uh, even when... Like, if some of you guys played uh, this game even casually, you might know that this fight is not easy to do, even when you don't have a blindfold on. So, yes, what Bubsy did here is extremely impressive. Yeah, it is definitely, definitely very cool. But now, uh, after the king fight is over, uh, the run would usually be over, but you know, there's still movement to be done, so the, it's, it's not. It's, there's still gonna be some tricky spots, and hopefully Bob's yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure Bob's gonna be able to go through that though. But here we have a little bit of a cutscene with um, just smashing for uh, quite a while. There are also sound cues in this cutscene, so Bob's yeah can know how it's progressing. So that's definitely helpful. We can get and... some uh, donations maybe here because this yeah. is just a cutscene. Do you have anything to say? This is the time to do it. All right, perfect. We have five dollars from the living Brett, uh, and he's saying, "What a legend! Go Bubsia!" And Bubsia is indeed a legend for doing this run blindfolded. We also have twenty-five dollars from Holly saying, "Let's get more of Big John hype!" And of course, that donation is going towards our last incentive of the marathon, the Big John bonus game, and he's gonna play golf. Okay, so now so if you follow the story. Uh, it's not really e easy because, of course, this is a civilian, but uh, the Ralsei, the character that was uh, helping us all along, is actually a goat. This uh, good. This guy is yeah. the hat. Goat revelation. <laughs> and now we're gonna finish. We're gonna uh, finish the Dark World segment of the run through this cutscene, and we're gonna go back to school, which we skipped at the beginning of the game, but we go back there anyways. And we're gonna, after that, we're just gonna go ahead back home and take a good old uh, sleep and end the run. So, we're going to be ending this run very, very soon. Usually, this part would be really easy in a speedrun, but when you're blindfolded, uh, many things can happen here. And actually, Bubsia can get lost in the light world uh, part of the, of the map. And if he gets lost and if he has to reset, then uh, he will have to reset before the king because this is the last uh, moment where he actually saved his game. So we don't really want that to happen, of course. We don't want to have to fight the king again. Yeah, the light world's pretty big, but I'm, I'm sure that Bubsy is not gonna run into any problems here. Also, we have um, a music with really precise beats, so yeah, that's he's going to helps. be able to, to count this. So here he knows that he's out of school because the music begins and now he's just going to go walking towards the end. Perfect. Okay, so two All diagonals right, here so and perfect. Alright, and now there's another stair that oh. he could get caught on. So oh, this part... We have to prepare for time. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
and time ends after he gets on the bed here and now. All right. Wow, that, that was actually really impressing, uh, impressive, and Babsy had it only a few mistakes. I think that yeah. the only mistakes he, do, he did was uh, two skips in fields and getting lost in castle. So that was uh, 37 minute time. That's a pretty good time for, yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, <laughs> 37 is pretty good for a marathon, I would say. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, congratulations Thank on the you. run. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I missed some enemy skips here and there, but yeah. <laughs> and the staircase uh, problems in Castle. Yeah, oh well. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good old endless staircases. It's it's very difficult in the castle because if you just hold up into stairs, you just like continue walking forever and it's very difficult to back it up, but we managed somehow. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty nice backup, I got to say. Yeah, thank you, thank you. That was, that was a very impressive run. Thank you so much for that run, Babsia and commentators. And before we head off to intermission, I got one more big donation to read out. We got $250 from LL Cool Dave saying, Hey, Eidgerd, if you really are the cop, why did you investigate Tyr last night after he soft claimed Medic and was likely to die? It seems pretty suspicious to me. P.S. Did you know that male cheetah brothers often form coalitions that stick together throughout their whole lives? Whereas female cheaters are most most commonly solitary hunters. Thank you for those big cat facts, <laughs> Dave. And yeah, next up we got uh, Castlevania run by Two Snack, and we'll see you right back after the intermission. <laughs> 